Imagine waking up tomorrow to a world where your digital assistant doesn't just answer questions, but actually sees what you see, thinks how you think, and completes complex tasks across multiple applications without you lifting a finger. That future isn't years away, it's here right now. Google and Microsoft just revealed technologies so transformative that they represent nothing less than the complete reinvention of our digital existence. Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome to Artificial Fluency Technology. Today, we're diving into the revolutionary announcements from Google I.O. and Microsoft Build 2025 that will fundamentally change how we interact with technology. These aren't just incremental updates, they're the dawn of an entirely new computing paradigm. Let's explore what this means for all of us. Google's I.O. event showcased an AI vision so comprehensive, it's almost difficult to comprehend. At the center is Gemini 2.5 Pro in Flash, AI models that have surpassed competitors in nearly every benchmark test and are being integrated across Google's entire ecosystem. The most striking breakthrough is the emergence of what can only be described as your digital twin. Google is implementing features that allow Gemini to learn your writing style, tone, and word choices from your emails, essentially enabling it to respond as if it were you. As Sundar Pichai demonstrated, Gemini can analyze thousands of your past communications and then craft responses that mimic your unique communication style, so convincingly that recipients might never know they're talking to an AI. Project Astra represents another quantum leap, giving Gemini the ability to see and understand the world around you in real time. Point your camera at anything, and Gemini instantly recognizes it, provides context, and can even interact with it. In one remarkable demonstration, a user pointed their camera at a shadow following them, and Gemini immediately identified it and explained the concept. This isn't just image recognition, it's contextual understanding of your physical environment. Google also revealed plans for new AR glasses developed in partnership with luxury brands like Gentle Monster that will integrate these capabilities. Imagine walking through a foreign city where every sign is instantly translated, every landmark is explained in detail, and turn-by-turn -turn directions are overlaid directly on your vision, all while the AI provides contextual information about what you're seeing without you having to ask. Perhaps most revolutionary is Google's new AI mode for search. This fundamentally reimagines how we find information online. Instead of scrolling through links, the AI synthesizes information from across the web, provides personalized recommendations, and can even simulate how products would look on you specifically. The traditional search engine model that has defined the internet for decades is being completely reinvented. While Google is creating your digital twin, Microsoft is building you an entire digital workforce. The central theme of Build 2025 was multi-agent coordination, multiple AI systems working together like a team of specialized employees, all under your direction. Microsoft revealed that we're entering an era where everyone will be an agent boss, directing teams of AI agents that handle specific tasks based on their specialization. These aren't simple chatbots, they're autonomous digital workers that can access your data, understand your business processes, and coordinate with other agents to complete complex workflows. The results are already transformative. Wells Fargo has equipped 35,000 bankers with AI agents that reduced information search time from 10 minutes to just 30 seconds. T-Mobile deployed an agent that instantly collects product information from 20 different manufacturers. HCL Tech created an agent that handles 40% more support requests, allowing them to reassign 30% of their support staff to more valuable work. What makes this particularly revolutionary is how accessible Microsoft is making these tools. Creating specialized AI agents no longer requires coding skills. It's now a simple process of demonstration and guidance. Microsoft compared this transition to moving from black and white computing to color, a fundamental shift in how we interact with technology. Microsoft has also developed GitHub Copilot into what they're describing as a super robot for coding. Simply describe the application you want, like a space game, and it will generate the entire code base for you. This isn't just autocomplete for developers, it's essentially autonomous software creation. Perhaps most intriguing is Microsoft's work on making the entire web chattable through ENL, Entity Numeric Language. This technology will transform static websites into interactive environments where AI agents can navigate, complete forms, and extract information autonomously, fundamentally changing how we interact with online services. While Google and Microsoft are taking different approaches, their visions are converging toward a future where AI becomes an extension of ourselves. Google is creating a personalized AI that sees what you see and responds as you would, while Microsoft is building specialized AI agents that execute tasks on your behalf. Both companies are addressing the critical issues of security and identity. Google introduced SynthID to watermark AI-generated content, while Microsoft unveiled Entra Agent ID, essentially a digital identity system for AI agents that controls what information they can access and tracks their actions. 
Most importantly, both companies are moving beyond the concept of AI as a tool to AI as a collaborator. Whether it's Google's vision of AI understanding your personal context or Microsoft's multi-agent coordination, we're witnessing the emergence of systems that don't just respond to commands, but actively anticipate needs and work alongside us. The technologies revealed at Google I.O. and Microsoft Build 2025 represent a fundamental inflection point in computing, one that will transform our relationship with technology more profoundly than the smartphone revolution or the birth of the internet. We're entering an era where the line between human and digital intelligence blurs, where AI systems can see through our eyes, speak with our voice, and coordinate complex tasks across multiple platforms without our constant supervision. This isn't just a new chapter in technology, it's an entirely new book. The question isn't whether these changes will happen, they're already here. The real question is how quickly we'll adapt to a world where our digital presence extends far beyond our direct actions. As the saying goes, AI won't replace humans, but humans who use AI will replace those who don't. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.